Disney Sports present. And still so much, Greg, to learn about these teams. Here we go. When do we get a sense of a team's true identity? Well, not this early in the season. I'd say at least a quarter of the way through it. That's when you kind of get a sense of a squad's chemistry. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Wiggins is out there with Walker. Williamson against Curry. Lock at six. Thompson for the triple. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. And this, the first of three games these two teams will play against one another this season. You want Jones to be assertive like this. If the three-point shot's there, you got to take it. And so the New Orleans Pelicans get the first points of the ball game. And here's Walker. What a tremendous game he played against Houston. Back to Curry. There's the triple. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Williamson with it. Picked up by Thompson. Ingram wide open. Offline with his three. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Outside Curry. Here's the three. It's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. A good strategy here from the coaching staff. Put the ball in Curry's hands and see what happens. Actually ends up being pretty good. Now here's Valanciunas. Valanciunas sets a screen for McCollum. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Warriors have gone just one of four to get this game started. So the Warriors GA last summer deciding to maximize the Curry Clay Draymond timeline. And have slowly swapped their youth for vet contributors. Sit pool out for the veteran call. They know the window is closing and want one more title. Shots good by Walker. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Pass to Valanciunas. He kicks to Ingram. Jones against Thompson. To the inside. Valanciunas. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Great pass there from Herbert Jones. When someone's open, he'll find them. Golden State's gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Curry on the wing. Back to Walker. Left side, Curry. Williamson against Walker. And he makes that one. And Clay rises up and takes that shot over the defense. For New Orleans, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. McCollum deciding where to go with it. Here's Fallon Schumis. Brings it from 9 feet away. Alan Junis has got his second basket of the night. Just good, aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Thompson outside. Fires the three. Here's Walker. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Walker's got his second basket. McCollum against Curry. Pass to Ingram. Wiggins with some nice D. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid straight up and in. Now here's Walker. Thompson finds Walker. Six to shoot. Curry with a wide open look. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got three assists now in this one. Is it to Valanciunas? Now the dish to McCollum. Shoots over Curry. McCollum, no good. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. 
Curry a screen on Valanciunas and Walker kicks to Curry. Another three for Golden State. Go ahead and frame that. That's Steph Curry, the best to ever do it. It's art. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Chris Paul's checked in for the Warriors. And for the Western Conference, we have a chance now to recognize our player of the week, Mr. Incredible. And the nature of big men in the league has evolved. And he's a perfect example of how valuable a guy like this can be on your team. He's had a tremendous stretch of basketball here late. Now here's Ingram. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. All against McCollum. McCollum with the screen for Ingram. It's the teardrop, and the rebound goes to the Warriors. Walker's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Outside Curry. Back to Walker. Outside Curry. And another three for Golden State. Yeah, this three. looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing. Now the pass to Valanciunas. Shoots over Walker. Rejected by Walker. Curry, a screen on Ingram. Outside Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. And there's a whistle. That goes on Herbert Jones. That is his first foul of the game. Trey Murphy's checked in for Zion Williamson. And so it's Golden State with it. 11-point game. That's to Curry. Back to Walker. Just five to shoot. They double-team Walker. It's stolen by Jones. McCollum against Thompson. Pass to Valanciunas. Inside. Kicks it out to Jones. Passes to Ingram. Valanciunas with a screen on Paul. And here's Ingram from the arc. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Back to Walker. No good that time. Good D by Jones. And so McCollum will bring it up for the Pelicans. They trail by 11. Jones dishes to Valanciunas. Stolen by Walker. Kicks it to Curry. Back to Walker. And finished off by Walker. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy. And oh! 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 Wee! Oh, wow. I, I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Pelicans trail by 15. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. They, I, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. And in talking with the coaching staff, they said in that game, they did a great job of not settling. Keep working the ball around, finding the best look, and see if they can keep that up. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Nancy's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Tyson Daniels comes in for Jones. And it's Jose Alvarado in for C.J. McCollum. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Daniels passes to Nance. Off target with the open look. Just doing the job on the backboard. Outside, Walker. Knocked away. Ingram with the steal. Nance sets a screen for Ingram. Walker with the rebound. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, 
The worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. They double-team Walker out to Payton. Fires the three. The shot off that time. Pelicans trail by 15. To the wing on the left. Let's the three fly. A three-pointer is right on target. Just a terrific three-pointer. The defense really had no answers. Paul passes to Walker. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Alvarado with it. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against New York. That one doesn't drop. Shot and game clock separated by five. Hits it from three-point range. Thompson's got five points so far. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. And it's Alvarado in the corner. Looking for Nance, and he gets it there. And Nance slams it in. So fun to watch Larry Nance Jr. get up and be in flight. Two seconds left, and Walker with the layup. And 12 points for Walker. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. And an overpowering first quarter effort, already a double-digit advantage. Warriors ahead, up by 15. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. to have you with us folks second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and let's get your guys take now on the hustle stats for the Warriors and just a great job so far applying pressure defensively the opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand nightmarish clamps thus far and I don't know if everybody's getting in this block party flow, but that's what's happening tonight. They've done a great job of being aggressive on all the shooters. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Walker out there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then there's Gary Payton, the second. Then it's Corey Joseph. And it's Paul in at the point. And it's in there. 14 points for Walker. That's some classic Chris Paul in action, reading the floor and finding the opening. With New Orleans GA, you have to feel like the talent is there. It is, but they, they can't get ahead of themselves. They've won 50 games in a season only once in their history. You can't have playoff success until you prove you can survive the rigors of the regular season. And the Warriors making a change here. Charge is checked in. Yep, that one goes in there. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Williamson outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And Trey Murphy gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Sharks. Warriors substitution. On defense, the Pelicans. 17-point game. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Greg, when they talk about youth development, the days are gone when coaches divided guards and bigs when it comes to skill work. When, when did that change? It, it's kind of a recent development, maybe the last 10 or 15 years. But it's amazing how the game has evolved. There's the screen. Shoots from the baseline. Walker with the rebound. Walker's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. And Trey Murphy gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. And stolen by Williamson. Awesome defense. Just outstanding effort to reach his big hands in there and just rip the ball away. 
With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Steph Curry has changed the game, but he's going to be hard to emulate. Steve Kerr says he has maybe the best hand-eye coordination in the world. Coach is not bad in his own right as the career leader in three-point percentage, but in their free throw competitions, Steve says he swishes everything. The guy's annoying. I can't beat him. Kevin? <laughs> All, right. All right, David, thank you. <laughs> And Jose Alvarado is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. And Walker throws it down hard. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Knocks it loose. And here's the fast break. Walker leading the way, pulls it from the elbow, and the Warriors tack on two more. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Feeds to Nance. And then shoves it in. And powering it home. He ends a 12-0 run by Golden State. Warriors leading by 23. All up top, he's defended by Alvarado. Wiggins passes to Walker. They double-team Walker. Payton kicks to Paul. Clock is at three, and it's off from three-point range. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Rejected by Walker. Now, here's Kaminga. Defense is right there. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the new CBA challenging the top spending teams, Brent. That certainly affects the Warriors, doesn't it? Yeah, Kevin, the roster is not getting any younger, but it is getting more expensive. So to sustain that kind of payroll, especially with the way the tax system is set up, it's something the Warriors are, are just going to have to deal with at some point and make some very critical decisions around what this roster is going to look like. And it's Williamson missing. And Walker's got the ball here for the Warriors. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Out to Thompson. Launches a three. That falls. Nice Play feed that time from Walker. Walker's got assist number eight here in this one already. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Alan Junis with a screen on Thompson. A three from McCollum, and he's good on the three ball. McCollum's got himself on the board with three there. Got to be impressed with how competitive McCollum is. Love watching him take charge like this. To the paint, here's Thompson, and he drops it in from the low post. Just looks like he's got more feel tonight, like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Alvarado passes to Valanciunas. Williamson against Wiggins. Williamson double team. Puts up a three. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Now here's Walker. He's defended by Alvarado. Shot's good by Walker. Walker's got 25 points. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Williamson finds McCollum. Valanciunas passes to Williamson. Back to Valanciunas inside in the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. Not much else the defense can do. Valanciunas just finds ways to score inside. And stolen by Williamson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Brent, remember that 2023 dunk contest? Trey Murphy made a strong showing. One fifty-eight left in the first half. Right side curve. Back to Walker. A 
And the pass to Kerr. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Jones, the pass to Valanciunas. 130 left to play here in the second quarter. Curry outside. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. To end the run. It's rebounded by Golden State. Coming into this, having notch to win against the Rockets in their last game. Yeah, mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Impressive to see them on the road just step up and have that kind of offensive performance. Four on the clock from deep. Another three for Golden State. Man, the triples three. keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. And there's the foul. Goes on Mr. Incredible. That's his first foul. Second team foul. McCollum against Curry. Pass to Valanciunas. It's Ingram on the wing. And it's Valanciunas that time on the assist from Ingram. Valanciunas has got eight points. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Walker taking his time here. Curry on the wing. Five to shoot. And Walker throws it down. Oh, very clever from Curry. They're attracting the defense and then just giving it away. Now McCollum to the middle. Two on the clock. And it's slammed in by Jones. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. A terrific quarter for him. And now he has a total of 27 points. Shouldn't take him long to get up over 30. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Greetings, everybody. Before we review the first... And guys, I was just thinking, as I often do, in your travels around the league, the only team you both played for... And now talking about our current game, gotta be impressed with the big halftime lead for the Golden State Warriors. And that is it for half... And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. The front court full of star power with Ingram and Zion. And it's Valanciunas, and at the center, locking down the middle. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. It's Curry outside, buries it from three-point range. Curry's got 30. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid, coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found the comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Tipped away, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Wednesday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. Then on Friday, they'll be taking on Victor Oladipo and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And, Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team, 
and bring you closer together. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. And Walker throws it down hard. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yeah. that's for sure. Down low. Walker with the rebound. The Warriors shooting just phenomenal here tonight. 73% from the field. And the dunk by Walker. Yeah, Draymond Green, we know he plays with attitude. He plays with force. And his teammates appreciate the unselfish approach he has. Jones in the post, working on Thompson. The feed to Ingram. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Here's Valanciunas. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Valanciunas has got six in the quarter. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Now here's Curry. 30 points in the game. Pass to Walker. Walker throws it down. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, the thing is, they're controlling the pace right now. And if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Averaging less than nine points a game for his career, but Draymond Green does everything else on the basketball court, Brent, and I know you admire that. Yeah, of course, the former Defensive Player of the Year, a tremendous playmaker, but the biggest skill, Kevin, is his mouth. He is a great communicator out there to keep this team connected. Here's Valanciunas, and he makes good on the way. Valanciunas has got 16. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Outside, green. Inside, here's Walker. And Walker throws it down. A oh, fantastic dunk. And, and he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. Jones against Thompson. Jones kicks to Ingram. And that comes off the assist by Jones. He has five. Brandon Ingram at that size constantly has a shooting window that's open. To the inside. Stolen by McCollum. Trying to find Valanciunas. Gets it to him. A second chance effort. Walker with the rebound. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Curry. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Passes it to Valanciunas. He dishes it to Ingram. Thompson against Jones. Six on the shot clock. And Ingram the bucket on the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists tonight. Brandon Ingram's advantage when he's down low like that still comes through in his length. Feeds it to Walker. It's Curry outside. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. No good from Valanciunas. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much, guys. Now, culture is thrown around a lot in the NBA, but the Warriors team has it in spades, and Kevon Looney says, the way we play is the way the locker room is. It's fast, loose, and disciplined. As long as you work, you're able to enjoy what you're doing. Everyone has input, and I think the biggest thing with our culture is we always talk about playing with joy. Kevin? And they do. Love it, David. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. The shot by Thompson, no good. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. The pass to Williamson. 
Outside, Jones. And here's Ingram from the arc. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. And the Pelicans making a change here. Alvarado's checked in. Different look here for the Warriors. Rudy Gay's checked in for Green. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Gary Payton has checked in for Clay Thompson. And Chris Paul subbed in for Curry. Ingram fires from way outside. And again, no good by New Orleans. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. New Orleans. And now here's the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best teams from three-point land a year ago. Second, the Warriors. Just tremendous accuracy from the three-point line last season. Instead of heaving up every opportunity and quick chance that they got, it was about ball movement and finding the open shooter. Corey Joseph's checked in for Golden State. And ball over to help. Pass to Dallin Tunis. Over to the left wing. Williamson kicks to McCullough. Pass to Valanciunas. That's in. Coming off the assist from McCollum. McCollum's got six assists now in the game. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And a chance to check out the stats for Paul. He's coming off an excellent season. Last year averaged 14 points per game. Nine assists and four rebounds. And so much of what they do on offense depends on how he plays. Well, he attracts serious attention from the defense, and that really does open up the backside for a lot of his teammates to take full advantage. You know, Brent, here we are looking at the New Orleans Pelicans. It does seem like they are improving. What do you think? Well, they made the playoffs in 2022 and the play-in tournament in 2023, but there's something that they haven't had on the floor that you feel like if that gets right, they're going to get right. Ingram against Payton. Here's Alvarado. Traps in the tray. Alvarado's got six. And Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. And there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That's his third foul of the game. Larry Nance has checked in for the Pelicans. Trey Murphy comes in for Williamson. for your Walker against Nance. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the NBA said expansion should wait until after the new CBA. Greg, that's done. So what new teams? I mean, Kevin, it seems like Seattle's been waiting forever. Professional teams have been crowding into Las Vegas. And don't sleep on Mexico City. A lot of potential fans south of the border. It's stolen by Kaminga. Here's Joseph, here's Walker, and the layup is good. Walker's got 41. And a breakdown here, guys, the hustle stats for the Warriors. All game long, they've had active hands and, and really out in the passing lane. That aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steal. And not to mention, they're playing with great, great activity. A lot of blocked shots, good hands, active hands, nothing easy for the opposition. Oh. And finished off by Walker. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Nance with no one around. Again, the Pelicans score. Okay, nice job here in the second half. Field goal percentage is way up from what it was at halftime when it was just barely above 30%. Shots good by Walker. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Ingram outside. Here's Nance. There's another block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Daniels, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Charge checked in for the Warriors. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Really left alone that time. Peyton's got five points now in the quarter. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It made you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. 
Payton looking it over. Here's Walker, and finished off by Walker. And that's his M.O. Sometimes he can score more points by himself than the rest of the team. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. Beyond the arc, gets the three-pointer to fall. He has five. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. And the basket by Alvarado. Alvarado's got eight points. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. The Warriors have shot nine of 11 at the free throw line. And free throw good from Walker. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And so Walker nails both of them. Now here's Ingram. Defense right on him. Over Kaminga. And it's Ingram missing. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may all. Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. All right, great pace, great energy. Keep throwing the ball ahead. You guys are just making the simple pass. That's good stuff. Urging his team quite clearly to keep pushing the break. And Kevin, Coach Kerr loves the. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting. 